Several have told me that they've been having problems putting their designs into the My Patterns section of the library um, of the Silhouette um, software. Um, so I'm not quite sure. This, well, someone did give me some information about an update and my, my software is currently up to date. Um, it is the current software. Um, here we go, which is 2.7.18D. That's the one that I have. So my software is up to date. You do not have to have the designer edition to do this. It may vary based upon what type of um, operating system you have. I do have Windows 7 on mine. I do not have Windows 8, and this is a PC and not a Mac. So um, my Mac has a bug on it right now, so i got to fix that before I can do a tutorial with it. So I'll show one more time how I get items into the My Patterns section. Um, initially, it will load it into the My Library section, and really either one will work. I had... Um, Oh, I wish I could remember her name. She posted on my Facebook page how even though hers is only letting it put her put it in her library, she's still using it that way with a method that I had shown before. Um, but so what I do for my patterns is I usually create a new folder. This one that I'm downloading today um, is from Cartabella, and I believe it's called the So Noted Collection. So I'm going to go ahead and create a folder here under my patterns. And you'll notice it puts it right here. So again, that is in my patterns. Now again, in my library as well, since I've never downloaded um, this particular brand into my library yet, it's not in here. So I will also create a folder down here just called Cartabella in the My Library section, and I will add another folder under it called So Noted. And that is where I will put the elements when I download them. So first, let's go ahead and go to the blog. This is the So Noted paper pack number one on sale for a dollar today. So Cartabella, as well as Echo Park, I believe they're affiliated companies, they have One Buck Wednesday. And this can be downloaded off of the Jessica Sprague website. But if you're not sure which kits they are, you can go directly to um, the blogs and they will show it there. So first I'll click on this and it takes us straight to Jessica Sprague. And you'll see right there, it does have it on sale for a dollar. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And then I will also Go back again, Let's see here, and find that other kit as well. Okay, this one right here. Oh, that one didn't pull up. Let me find it real quick. Okay, here it is. So the element pack. You'll see the, col the full collection is here, and it's a set of four. The ones that are on sale today is paper pack number one and element pack number one. So those are the two that I'm going to purchase today. Maybe another time those other two will go on sale. So for today, I'm just going to do these two. Add to cart, and then click on cart. So here you'll see I have both of those in my cart. So I'll come back after I purchase so I can show you how I download these. So you'll notice as you download these files, they are in a zip format. If you leave it in the zipped format, it is not going to be able to do the dragging and things like that because um, you have to do, even though you can see everything, it's not going to work for you that way. So you do need to click on the Extract All Files. So click on Extract All Files. And for me personally, I like to save it in my Dropbox account. 
Again, it is a free account and I will link it below um, so that if my computer crashes, I always know I have it exactly where I want it. So I have a folder just for my silhouette and under this folder of silhouette is where I save all my files on my cloud storage Dropbox so that it's not saved on my computer, but rather it is saved um, on the cloud or somewhere else other than my machine. So I hit OK. And you'll see here, it's going to put it in the silhouette folder um, and I will click extract. I also show extracted files when complete. Okay, so you're going to see it's going to put form a folder that is called the same name. This is the Cartabella Collection So Noted Element 1 Package. So that's where it's going to put everything when it extracts them. So I need to do the same thing for the other zipped file that I downloaded. Even though you can see everything, it doesn't mean that you're able to use these really easily this way. You do need to click Extract All Files. So again, I'm going to go to my Dropbox. And I'm going to go down to Silhouette and click OK. And Extract. So after you have extracted all of those files, you can now import them where you need. Now when you use the import tool, it will put it into the My Library, My Own Designs section. So we'll click File, Import to My Library, and you'll see initially when you go where those files are, it's blank because Studio Silhouette Studio defaults to this .studio file you need to make sure to flip it and change it to all files. As once of you, you've changed to all files, you'll be able to see your individual papers. You have to select one at a time and then click OK. Again, click OK. And you'll see it suddenly jumps. That pink bar moves to my own designs. And these are in alphabetical order. So this one is called Cartabella SN Always UA Paper 1. So now it is in your Silhouette software. You can use it in this section right here, or you could move it down here if you wanted to, because if you select on a design like I drew a rectangle, and um, all you do is select the rectangle to where you've also selected your dimensions and you double click on that pattern, it will autofill and put it in there. If it doesn't put it exactly where you like it, you can pan the pattern and you can move the pattern around too. If you want, say you want only wanted the blue and gold to show or just the gold, you could, or you can move it all the way to where the whole design shows. So you also have a scale feature. You can scale it up. You can scale it down. You can do anything with it that you would do with a normal fill function, even with fill pattern. But for me, I do like to have it in my patterns. So up here in my patterns, I do have another folder called Cart Cartabella, so noted. So I go down here to where I had that paper. And here's my paper selected. I just hold on to that paper and I highlight over my folder that's under my patterns and move it there. Now, if I click on that, there's my paper. I hope this makes sense. Let's go ahead and do another one. File, import to my library. Again, it's not going to show because it's in dot studio, change to all files, grab that second paper, click OK, click OK, and now you see it jumps down to my own designs and it's right here. So I'm going to highlight that one paper and I'm going to hold it and drag it back up to Cartabella. So noted. 
and now I have two papers in there. And then you just keep doing this for the rest of the papers. After you've imported everything, you'll see this fill pattern window, and you'll see that entire collection that I just imported is right here. So all 12 of those papers now can be used to fill any element. Here I drew a rectangle, and if I click on that element and click on open the fill pattern window, I can now fill it with any of these. Any of these papers will autofill into those areas now. So now we'll go in and do the elements. So for the elements pack, you can do the same thing after you've extracted all of your elements out of that zip file. Then you can make sure to go back into import to my library. And this time you'll click on element one. And that has all the elements. Again, it's in a .studio format. You need to switch to all files. And with this feature, you can only import one at a time. So here it did. It imported it right here into my own designs. Then I can click and hold and move it to so noted. And now you'll see it's the only one in that folder. So we'll do that again. File, import to my library elements, all files, we'll go to the second one. Okay, okay. It's in my own designs. It put it right here in alphabetical order. And, oops, I didn't mean to double click. And then I'm going to move it into the so noted section right here. And now I have two elements in the so noted. Okay, so you can do it one by one just like that. That can get a little tedious when you have this many files. So I do also like to go ahead and speed this up a little bit by going into my Dropbox, going where those files are saved, Silhouette, Elements, it shows all the elements. In here, I can usually select about four at a time without having a problem of it freezing up. So I'm going to select those four, click and hold, drag over here, and let go. And now you'll see it put those four in there just fine. Okay, so I selected four more, click and hold, drag way over here into this white space, and you can see it added those next four. So I'll just keep doing this process. Review, I've shown you again how to import Cartabella uh, digital papers into the My Pattern section, and then also how to take Cartabella elements 
and add them into your library. Now, again, I don't think that there is a difference, at least it's not advertised as being a difference, of having the designer edition versus the free edition. I do have the designer edition, um, and I've been able to do this even after the software has been upgraded. So I don't believe that it's a software upgrade issue um, for those of you trying to import into my patterns. Um, I have Windows 7. I'm not sure how it works with Windows 8 or Mac, like I said before. I wish I could help more, but this is the best way that I know how to explain explain it and I have tried it with the new software upgrades and it works fine on my machine. Um, so again I did I am still able to work with it in the my pattern section and also put it in the so noted I mean in the my library section. Now if you can't get it into your patterns area up here it's okay because you can still work with it down here in my library. Let me show you how really quickly. Let me go ahead and move one of those files. Let's take this paper, for example, right here. Let me go ahead and move that paper back down into my library. So I'll move it down here into So Noted. So here it is in my So Noted collection. So if you didn't want to move it into the My Patterns section or you've been having, having problems moving it there, it's okay, you can still use it, just as I showed on other videos, to fill your elements. Because you can click on your element, make sure that the dimensions show, and you can fill it with any element that you double click on. Just like that. Let me get rid of this one. So any of these would fill inside of it. Or you can go right to the paper itself, double click on the paper, double click on that paper, and you'll see it fills that entire piece. If it wasn't filling it just right, you can go to Advanced Options, and you can pan the paper. You can move it around anywhere you want. If you only wanted the words, you could do that. If you wanted the bird and the banner, you can do that. You can even scale it up or scale it down. Make it as tiny as you want and make it repeat or go as large as you want. So if you're not able to move it into my patterns for whatever reason, you can just keep it in my library under this section right here. I like to have it over here under my patterns just so that when I open the fill pattern window, I do see all of my options right here. So I hope that helped answer a few more questions, and I hope you're able to take advantage of those wonderful digital files that you can download off of jessicasprague.com and their One Buck Wednesday. Thanks for watching.